Hello everyone, this is your host Valdeath, and welcome back to my redstone tutorial series for Minecraft 1.5 uh, Redstone 101 This today is lesson 2, the redstone torch First of all, we'll talk about the recipe for the torch to make this wonderful item you only need two items, sticks and redstone dust from the previous episode. Crack them together like so and you can get those torches. Torches are used in some other recipes. They are used to make redstone repeaters, which are made with three smooth stone, two redstone torches, and dust in a three by three crafting area. Also in a three by three crafting area, they're used to make comparators using three torches smooth stone and the new nether quartz found in the nether <laughs> Duh. finally they can be used to be make activator rails one of the new rail combinations in 1.5 that can be used to ignite tnt carts when they go over them they're made uh, like most rails but with a single redstone torch in the middle and some sticks they're basically just a redstone power source on a on a block right when someone goes over it it gets activated by the redstone torch and boom there you go okay now these are torches they do emit light but it's a light level of seven this means that they do not stop monsters from spawning i'm in peaceful right now but they can provide some cool mood lighting but you can have a room filled with redstone torches and mobs will spawn. They do not stop them. Now, before the block of redstone was introduced, it was our only constant source of redstone power, the input to those circuits, uh, that did not need player interaction. Like a flipped lever. Yes, a flipped lever is a constant source of redstone power. But, you have to come on here and flip it. Now, maybe I can, you know leave it on and walk away and it's always on, right? And that was kind of the solution for a lot of things, but the redstone block does some really cool stuff for us. Uh, okay, so the torch, as you can see here, provides constant power to all the blocks around it, except the block it is attached to. It does not power the block it's on even when it's standing straight up like this, or attached to a wall. But you can see it does power the blocks around it. Unlike the block of redstone, which doesn't really attach to any block, uh, so it powers everything all around it. Unlike a lever, a lever does attach to something but even though it acts like the block of redstone, it does power everything all around it. Even though it does attach to this, it has the same properties as this when it's activated. Unlike the torch. Now, this difference is what makes the torch so special. It allows the torch to react to signals sent to the block it is attached to. Like so, I have a redstone torch attached to a block. I'm going to send an input signal through this wire into that block. And the torch will react to that. And get turned off. Which turns off its output. We no longer light up the light. When a redstone torch is used in this manner, it is called an inverter. Or a NOT gate. The most basic of gates. Uh, circuit gates. What that what a NOT gate means, if you want to think about it in circuit terms, is whatever the input signal is, the output signal is not that. It's the opposite. So if this is off, that's on. If this is on, that's off. The out is not the input. That's it. Now before we had repeaters, let's uh, keep the light back on here. Before we had repeaters, this was how we transmitted a redstone signal longer than 15 blocks. By itself, a torch can also generate a signal for 15 blocks, just like a block of redstone or a lever. Any source of redstone can generate it for 15 blocks. So you can see it getting weaker here, weaker, 
showing that the redstone dust is still powered, powering this block, powering it. And then this is our last one where we got power. No more power. Can't get this far. But if we use two inverters, we can take that same signal all the way here, on, on, by using them in sequence, not, not. So this one's on, off, and then back on. Really cool, right? And this is classically how we move redstone signals along. Now, using two inverters like this, just like we've done in sequence, we can take the same signal and move it, right? We can also use this to transmit not just horizontally, but also vertically, up and down. So if I have an output signal up here, here's my input. Right now it's uh, that I can alter that up there. Because this torch tower works in that manner. When this one gets powered, it turns off, which releases the power on this block, which allows this torch to turn back on, which then turn puts power into this block, which turns off this one, and then the signal goes away. Same thing, if we went up, we can also send a signal down. Light up that output block. This is done in the same same way. When I light up this redstone wire, it powers this block, which is the one that this torch is attached to, so he turns off. He was powering this block, this dust down here. We saw that a torch can power the block underneath it, down there. And it's the same thing, the inverter powers this one, which powers this, and there's our output signal. Finally, the redstone torch is a torch, so it is placeable just like a regular torch. On this side I've got redstone torches, on this side I've got regular torches. And you can see they neither can be placed on glowstone, but they can be placed on glass, on the top of, not the side. Solid blocks, they can be placed on the side and the top. Upside down stairs, or slabs, they can be placed on the top of. These are slabs, and these are upside down stairs. Right side upstairs, though, they cannot be placed on the top of. Or the side, for that matter. The only block they can place on the side of are solid blocks. Okay, so some of the advanced topics that we'll talk about later that we hinted at in this episode is primary and secondary power. So these redstone lamps all just represent blocks in this area, right? And the torch is providing power to just these blocks. But wait a minute. In this case, I got these guys up here not being powered, but over here they are when I add another block up here. That is a difference between these blocks being powered primarily from the torch and these blocks receiving secondary power from these ones. We'll talk more about that next episode when we talk about block power and the redstone repeater. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and please leave some feedback, a like, subscribe, some comments, and I will see you guys next time.